So Ben, tell me about World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft is a um, online role-playing game where millions of users from across the globe can um, compete and join up into uh, teams, try and uh, conquer quests and dungeons. So, so why do you have to have your own designed character? You have to have your own so that you can be a sort of a unique identity in the uh, sprawling world because if there were just 10 million of one thing running around, it really wouldn't be that appealing. Are there any other ways you could sort of design your own characters then? Uh, yeah, I've been working with a program called Cosmic Blobs where um, you can take a basic shape and just uh, manipulate it in a variety of ways. So once you've got your, your data, let's say in Cosmic Blobs or uh, out of World of Warcraft, how would you sort of get that into the real world? You can export it to a uh, what's called a VRML file, into a 3D printer as you can see here, um, and that will print a model layer by layer um, with uh, binder, powder and ink, basically. So, so how does that work? So it's, it's doing this layer, layer by layer? Yeah, it will print layer by layer, tiny um, micron layers, and once it's printed into a model, the powder that it was made from will be drained, as you can see. We'll shake it off, take it out of the machine, uh, and then it needs to be uh, dusted off with a brush. I take it that's, that's you doing the dusting off, is it? That is me doing the dusting off, yes. Uh, once it's dusted off, you also need to air blow it, get some of the um, dust out of the tiny like nooks and crannies. I take it you've got to be really careful with these. Parts. You have, because they are quite fragile. Um, uh, and the glue, super glue, or cyan acrylate, I believe it's called, uh, helps to keep these models strong, but also gives it a nice glossy coating on the outside, makes the colour much more defined as well. So what other sort of gaming characters do you think you could print using 3D printing? Basically any that you require a 3D model, so any 3D shooter or role-playing game, as you've already seen, anything that requires a 3D character can be printed off. So what, Second Life, Half-Life, Second Life, Half-Life, Warcraft, all the other MMOs, for example, there's a new Hellgate London. Uh, those characters should be able to be printed off fairly soon. So how, how long did all these parts take to, to make? They took around seven, eight, nine hours to build. I'd say mostly uh, seven. I mean, depending on the size, obviously, depending mostly on how tall they are. And, and why, why did you do this? Um, the point of this I did this project as part of my two weeks work experience for EconList, learning about uh, rapid manufacturing. Uh, I went down to Loughborough University and used the 3D printing machines. Uh, it's been a good experience and I've taken uh, some knowledge away from it.